Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to compare tech for techs with HGS and all data. Um, just basic things. Okay, now these I use tech for techs first and then I use HGS. So basically what I would do is I'll put in the registration number. So in this case, it's a 05 plate Mark 1 Ford Focus. Um, and then from that, you can get the VIN number and then you feed that into HGS with the VIN number and that brings up all the details. Now, say for example, you're an auto electrician like I am and you've got a fault code. Okay, so let's go guided diagnostics. Okay, and then you choose the ECU, for example, this one's a Bosch VP30, it's old. Okay, and then you've got the fault code diagnosis. Now you can put the, the fault code into here and then it will then give you the diagnostic procedures that you need to go through and also the voltages that you should see on the components that you are testing right which is absolutely brilliant so that's good now say you need a wiring diagram the wiring diagrams on these um so if i just go into wiring diagrams and say we went into say it's an airbag fault okay so let's go uh, 2001 right hand drive so there's your wiring diagram which is actually you know not bad not bad at all tells you where the igniters are all this sort of thing okay so nice and easy to read easy to zoom in easy to zoom out you can print it as well which is good so you can go to the vehicle and then mark off each one of the terminals that you've tested uh, by viewing full screen and print okay which is also good if we go into hgs um i think hgs is even better so for example fuses and relays um we'll go passenger compartment fuses and relays okay so there's your relay layout it also tells you when you put your mouse over it what the relay actually does okay and then it also brings a list down the side which is also good uh, if we go wiring diagrams, I mean, how fast is this? If we go engine, for example, um, ECU, there's your ECU. So there's all your different components with the pinouts. Okay. Um, if we go back to overview and we go into component uh, test values, so let's say it's ABS. Okay, so if you want to see if you have an ABS fault, it'll tell you which pin numbers are which, what you should have on each of the pins. So you can test it that way. All right, I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that. Very easy to operate, very easy to use. Again, you can print it, which I quite often do. Now, let's go to component locations. So if we use overview, component locations, if I just move this, if I can, we've got engine compartment. So you click on the engine compartment. Okay, it tells you where everything is in the engine compartment. Also, we can go into the cabin, if I bring it down, It'll tell me where everything is in the cabin. A bit like the old auto data. Okay, really good, really easy. Now, watch this. This is all data. Now, I've got serious issues with all data. They cost a fortune. Um, and I think it's awful. So let's load the same vehicle. So we put the same vehicle in. And... Okay, now we have multiple menus. So we want component locations. So let's see if we can find component locations. So all you want to do is you want to know where an item is. Uh, so straight away, just multiple, just loads and loads and loads. So if we go to say, for example, there we go, component locations. So we click on component locations and we are now greeted with a row of numbers. So if I just move this to here, 
We're now greeted. Let's see if I can turn this super bright light off. See if it makes any difference. Right, we are now greeted with just a row and row after row of numbers. That means absolutely nothing. Right, so let's go systems overview. So that must be the way to go in then. So already it's taken far too long to find things. Right, so now we've got a systems overview. First thing you'll notice is when you try to zoom in, it moves the page down. So you can make it smaller, but you can't make it bigger. So, OK, let's make it full screen and let's make it bigger. So we go into this. OK, so more messing around. Now, bear in mind, say you're a mobile auto electrician. You're trying to do this on the side of the road with very poor signal. So we'll bring it up and we'll make it bigger. OK. And then we'll make it bigger again. I mean, talk about a lot of faffing about. OK, so now we're getting somewhere then, are we? So let's find exterior lighting, reversing lamp. So say, for example, then reverse lights don't work. OK, so license plate lamp, reversing lamp. So there's a hyperlink. So we click on the hyperlink for reversing lamps. And uh, let's see what we've got. Right, so we've got manual transmission, three-door model, Duratec. So we click on that. Now, bear in mind, we're looking for reversing light. Okay. So we've now got another thing we've got to zoom in on. So we zoom in on this. Keep going. Do it again. Right, so bear in mind we're looking for reversing light. This audio navigation system, parking aid, reversing lamp right. So let's say, say for example, the reversing lamp on the right hand side doesn't work. So we've now got to click on this hyperlink and have a look at this. Oh my God, more and more menus. Right, okay, so. Exterior lighting, reversing lamps, manual transmission. So we we'll click on that. Oh, and now we're back to the same map again. Right, so, so we'll try it again. Get back in. And again, we've got to keep zooming it in and moving it, and zooming it in and moving it. I mean, my God, what a setup. OK, so we look at this. Oh, so here we've got left hand drive and now something else has come up. Get off. Right. So. Let's make it smaller. Let's give it full screen. So, I mean, what a setup. Now, this is actually in the workshop on a nice big screen. You imagine trying to do this on a laptop. So five door model with parking aid. Uh, oh, my God. I'll tell you what. Forget it. So let's just go component locations. Let's go back into HGS. Right. And let's go wiring diagrams. OK, we will click on addition. We will go exterior lighting. OK, we want to go down to reverse light, three and five door. There you go. There's your reversing light. So now we've got our reversing light. We've got the colours. We've got the, where the connector is. So it's a splice in the luggage compartment. We've got the colour of the wire. We've got another connector there. Tells you where it is. All these connectors. There's your reverse light switch. How easy is that? You can just follow that so simply. I mean, that was seconds to bring up a full wiring diagram with all the colours. Simple. OK, so I would say if you're thinking about buying all data, yes, you can have the main dealer wiring diagrams, but you can see how much you can see why main dealers charge so much money to find simple faults, because I would say that they're they're technicians in inverted commas, spend more time trying to 
navigate the wiring diagrams and component locations than actually doing the job. Um, so let's go back to back to the vehicle. Right, so let's go back to the vehicle and let's go back into component locations because this is the one of the most common things you need to find is is where everything is. So go back into system overview. And this is a Mark 1 Ford Focus. I mean, you're not going to get anything more popular than a Mark 1 Ford Focus. OK, so again, we've got this rigmarole. Uh, so anti-theft, right, so the car doesn't start, anti-theft passive, so we'll click on that, anti-theft passive, see what comes up, right, we've just got a number, so I want the wiring diagrams or the component locations for the anti-theft passive, nothing, and this is over and over and over again, they list all these things and it's just not there. OK, so, yeah, my honest opinion, if you're thinking about buying all data, don't um, go for the trial. Yes, get the free trial um, and then see what you think. But let me know in the comments. But this is the sort of thing you're up against. It takes forever. In fact, one of my subscribers actually said, commented on the last video. He said it's like a massive library where nothing is labeled. And I'd say that is about right. OK. So let me know in the comments what you think uh, and also if there's any database you want me to go through or information that you need, just let me know. OK, thanks for watching.